Hi guys, my previous two videos is about this scene. I was doodling in Typeflow just like Peter draws, except in 3D and using Typeflow. So I guess totally different. Straight to the point, you're gonna need a sphere, 22 centimeters. What I did, I cut the half of it, so it's hollow. And also later on, we're gonna need a circle, 60 centimeters radius. So in type flow we go to birth zero zero put ten thousand initially and then object bind and then position object choose the sphere next shape Shape choose 3D, Geosphere, Middle has, and then Scale, you click here to don't make it uniform, 45, display, let's see ge the geometry, then that's what's going to happen. By default, and what we need to do is like in position object align to surface, so it's better. Now they are overlapping, and an easy way to fix it is to put the operator fuse. And if fuse, you choose fuse if convex holds overlap, so that's delete most of them. They are not overlapping anymore. Now we send out to another event. So this is our creation event of our particles. And then we're going to make them to move. We're going to need particle physics. Force. Force wind 0.1. And here you can play as you want, but that's my setup. Let's connect and see what's happening. So they are just exploding around, moving around in the space. That's why you need an object bind. And the particle should bind to the sphere. But if you move, the timeline they are not moving because the friction is 100% so this is how easy they will slide along the surface you can see they are sliding off the surface what you want to do is to lock to surface snap to surface so they will just stay most of them this can happen this happened my original setup is not a big deal you can if it's under a plane otherwise you can make a more complex setup just to get rid of them like delete those particles but that's not the point here next you can put is a good practice to put a slow 30% now it's already working but to get that look in my scene the key is on the scale. In scale, you go to text map, multiply by text, map, I choose dent, pick the surface, and it's already that's the look. What you can do next is go to map, press M to open the map editor, and then you drag to one slot instance and here you can play let's say five by five by five and the scale you can choose by black and white so here the black is how much they will decrease so zero they will just go to zero scale so it's good to put two three five value for minimum and then the maximum depend of what you want 
Here you can choose another maps and you see the difference to results. Now they are moving quite crazy. What you're gonna need is to change in particle physics from absolute radius to scale radius. So this will fix those jitters. In my setup, I choose 100,000 particles. If your setup is taking too long to process because you make some change and it's calculating everything, then just press Shift S. It will stop the simulation. Then you can go all the way back, click right click, and refresh simulation. So from here, we can have more control and don't have to wait. So let's go to the second scene. These we can turn off for now. Go to birth spline. Pick the spline that we created previously. Then we add a shape. Again, another sphere. Display geometry. You can give it a scale. And then physics shape. Physics shape will turn them in object that reacts to the physics, gravity, as you can see now. And then for them to collide, physics collision. And we're going to choose the sphere. And to go to the sphere, we need to put the find target. In target object, we choose sphere. So now they are coming but they are come randomly but i wanted them to come all together at the same time and i choose point particle target and they come in more uniform way and it's not related to the object next you put scale scale we're gonna use proximity multiply by proximity, pick the sphere, let's move a little bit further and then we're gonna play with that, that was part of my doodling until find something that worked for me and the values that worked for me was here 33.6, follow 139, 140 if you plug those values, it will not work right away because you need to put timing to continuous. So now they are getting smaller over the time. Now the last step is to add spawn and we're gonna make it by travel distance. 10 centimeters should do it. So it's already working. And then we can turn back the first event to make exactly my render just enable viewport and there you go i'm planning to do more of those doodlings video tutorials let me know you guys what you think of this format instead of just one specific feature of typeflow or effect specific effect Please subscribe, it really helps. So, I'll be here for you. See you next one.